This video will show you how to replace the default Shoemaker flattening with an approved flattened draft. So the first thing I'm going to do is open up my .shoe file and we're going to take a look at the default flattening that Shoemaker gives us. So I'm going to go to the 2D view and we can see here this is the flattening. Okay, so I'm now going to move on uh, to Engineer and we can see this is my approved flattening. So I'm going to export this as a DXF file and I'm going to uh, import it into Shoemaker. So again, I'm going to open up Shoemaker. I'm going to go to Import. And I'm going to import the lines. So I'm going to find my DXF file, open that up. I get an import report, which is absolutely fun. And I've also got some spare geometry, which I'm just going to delete. Okay, so once I've removed the geometry, I'm going to select on the last icon. I'm then going to go to the flattening icon and select user-defined flattening. As you can see, my uh, inner shell is highlighted here. And I'm going to swap this inner shell for my approved flattening. So I'm going to select on the trace boundary icon. I'm then going to select on the boundary of my approved uh, flattened draft. So this is the uh, inner boundary. Once I've got this selected, I'm going to select on the same icon. You can see it repositions itself. Okay, so I can now do the outer in the same way. So again, I'm going to select on outer, the same icon, and then I'm going to trace around the approved outer boundary. Okay, so I'm going to make sure create an exact match for this last only is selected. Uh, I'm then going to preview and you can see that my new approved draft has been swapped over for the old shoemaker flattening. So I'm going to select OK. OK, so now that this is all done, the only thing that I've got left to do is just to do a bit of a clean up. So I'm just going to delete and remove these lines.